who he actually asked me to talk about this last night during my bachelorette stream. And at first, I told him no. I told him straight up, you guys can go watch, you guys can go watch the video. The reason why I the reason why I had decided until now not to talk about this is because the black community doesn't give a fuck about what I think. They really don't. They don't Dave, I couldn't give less of a fuck. This is why I stay silent on black issues, guys. Black men and black women basically say, shut the fuck up, house nigga, and stay over there with them white people. This is what they tell me. That's the, th listen, these are the, <laughs> this is one of the main reasons I don't write for Negro Manosphere anymore. This is why I don't do the brother pill anymore. Listen, O'Shea Duke Jackson is as good as they come, man. And, and dude, it was cool of him to allow me on his platform, but not even he could shield me from all the in-house hate I got. Content, and here's the thing, guys. Don't listen, and don't feel sorry for me. Like, I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm good. Like, dude, I'm winning. I live a good life. But content creators like me, we all have haters. We all, we, th this is just part of the gig. But guys, most of my haters come, most of my hate comes from my own people. That's a goddamn shame, man. I'd love to be able to do the brother pill, man. That was great fun. I'd love to be able to write for the Negro Manosphere again. That was awesome. But nine and a half times out of 10, it's people calling me all kinds of names. Nigga, what do you know? House nigga, you married to a white girl. Well, I'm not married. You with a white girl. Bottom shelf Becky, as they like to call Devin. <laughs> That's real cute. But the black community doesn't consider me to be a real black person because I'm light skinned. I don't talk like a hood nigga. And I have a white girlfriend. Right? Like they, th this is so, this is unbelievable how they think this. They think that because my girlfriend is white, that her white privilege carries over to me. Fuck no. You kidding me? If Devin and I were to get pulled over, they still see a nigga. That cop walks up on, dude, that cop walks up on me. He's like, oh, he's thinking to himself, oh, we got a nigger in here with a white woman. Let's see how I can fuck up his day. Let's run his license. Let's, let's, let's make him put his hands on the hood. Like, don't get it twisted. This has happened to me plenty of times. This is one of the reasons I moved out to the West Coast. This shit used to happen to me all the time in North Carolina. My light skin and my dialect and my white girl, got, my white dude, my white girlfriend, that doesn't shield me from systemic racism. You, y'all, y'all, you, you kidding me? The fuck out of here. Damon Young wrote that bullshit piece. Uh, black men are the white people of black people. The fuck? The fuck are you talking about? What fucking America are you living in? That doesn't shield me from racist cops, guys. That doesn't shield me from a, raci fr fr from a racist justice system. But the black community thinks it does because I don't talk about it all the time. And the reason I don't talk about it all the time is because they say, fuck you, house nigga. Go back over there with them white people. This is why I don't speak on black issues, man. The black community thinks I've never been racially profiled. The black community thinks I've never been railroaded in court. The black community thinks that I don't experience racism in my everyday life. So when I try to offer knowledge on how to be a better man, right? Uh, how to dominate life, how to be better with women, they throw shade. Dude, go take a look at my Facebook and Twitter feeds. All of the hate, the hate all comes from black people, black men and black women. All of the Facebook and YouTube and, and all the YouTube hate, all from black people. I don't even read the comments on my YouTube, on my YouTube channel anymore. It just got ridiculous. One dude actually called my show. This is unbelievable. One dude actually called my show. This is probably six, eight months ago. Called my show and played a soundbite that said nigger, nigger, nigger over and over again. I bet my life that was a black person because the black community just hates guys like me. It's just how it is, man. I care about black issues because I'm a black man. Having a white girlfriend doesn't make me any less black. It doesn't make me care any less. No, but according to the black community, I'm not qualified to speak on black issues. Gentlemen, this is why the best black men abandon the black community. This is it. We can't win no matter what we do. You pay $40 million in debt, student debt, from uh, an HBCU. Fuck you, nigga. You married to a white girl. Get back there on the porch, house nigga. We don't need you. You try to educate people, try to educate black people on the perils of dating and life. Fuck off, nigga. You don't know me. You talk like a white boy. What you, what the fuck you know about my, what, what the fuck you know about my life, white boy? You don't talk like me. You don't act like me. Fuck you. All right. But then a wealthy black man who doesn't give back to the black community 
or remain silent on black issues. They say, oh, he doesn't care about the black community. He forgot where he came from. Anybody ever heard of Michael Jordan? Right? Anybody ever heard of Tiger Woods? Those guys catch heat from the black community all the time. They don't give back to the black community. They don't do this. They don't do that. Oh, for real? Nah. The reason why they don't donate, the reason why they don't contribute to the black community is because these people see that that's not it at all, right? It's not that he forgot where he came from. Guys like Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, they see this happening to guys all the time. Guys like Robert F. Smith, Jesse Williams, Kyrie Irving, Joel Embiid, other prominent black men who date or marry outside their race. God forbid a guy like Robert, Robert Smith try to donate and try to help out the black community. Now he's married to a white girl. Everybody's bitching and complaining about Michael Jordan not contributing to the black community. But as soon as he does, oh, he's married to Yvette Pierco. She's a Puerto Rican. Well, she's not white. Bitch, if she ain't, if she ain't black, she white. That ignorant ass shit. Why in the world would prominent black men help the black community if all he gets in return is the finger? Dude, high level African-American men are trying to help the black community. All they get is a collective fuck you. That's it. This is the, the problem with the black community is the black community. I'd love to be able to help other black people. Lord knows we need it. But when I see stuff like this, kind of makes me shrug my shoulders and say, you know what? This is why I don't fuck with them like that anymore. And guys, listen, man, I've caught heat from black people since I was a teenager. When I was 16 years old, that's when I first became a civilian. It was the same shit down there in North Carolina. Donovan, you're a sellout. Coon, Uncle Tom, house nigga. Blah, 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 blah. I was back when I'm 16, 17, 18 years old. Here I am at 41, almost 42 years old, experiencing the same goddamn thing, man. More than two, more than two decades later. I don't even know why I'm surprised. Back in 2016, O'Shea called me. I didn't, I didn't know who O'Shea was. Says, yo, Donovan, I'm a fan of your work. I'm trying to do things over here in the Negro Manosphere. I'm trying to get this channel going. I'm trying to get this website up. I thought, okay, all right, enough time has gone by. I'm sure the black community has probably changed for the better, right? We got new information. People think differently, et cetera, et cetera. Cool, right? Maybe I'll be received a little bit better. Same shit, same shit. And guys, I didn't want to believe it. I kept telling myself, six months goes by, nothing but hate. Kept telling myself, you know what? Maybe they just need time to get used to me, right? It kept coming. All right, let me get on the brother pill. Let him, let him, let me see my face. Let me try to help people call in. Same shit, guys. Nothing changed. It was all the same shit. Sell out. Coon, Uncle Tom, house nigga, blah, blah, blah. So you know what? I said, fuck it. I'm out. I'm too old to be dealing with this bullshit anymore, man. I help people who want to be helped instead of trying to convince black people that I really am black. I'm done. I'm out. It is sad to say. I And I fucking hate to say this, man, because this fucking sucks. My life has gotten much better since I left black YouTube. Don't get it twisted. It, dude, it fucking sucks to fucking say it, but God damn it, it's true. I fucking hate it, man. But the black community cannibalizes and hates on their best and the brightest. And I'm not trying to deal with that nonsense anymore, man. I'm not trying to convince niggas anymore that I got something to say. If y'all don't want to listen to me, cool, man. Y'all go over there and deal with all that fuckery, all that beef. All that dozen shit. Do all of that, man. I'm not about that life. I'm not pro-black, gentlemen. I am pro-male. I'm pro-man. And if that ain't good enough for you, you can unsubscribe from my channel and go the fuck somewhere else. My channel is not for you. Robert Smith is the quintessential example of why the black community can't hang on to its most successful black men. And all you black men and black women out there who are probably hating on me in the chat... And all that other nonsense, I don't look at the chat anymore. And by the way, this is, this is why I decided not to look at the chat anymore. It all started with black people. All y'all do is hate, hate. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. Not even gonna look at the chat anymore. But I'll, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. I'll leave you guys with this. You will never be criticized by people doing more than you. You will only be criticized by people doing less. Hate comes from beneath. So to you guys, I say, enjoy the view down there. I'm winning. That's all there is to it. And that's why you take time out of your day to comment on my life, thinking that you affect it one way or, the, one way or another. Okay, you got 28 minutes of my time. Cool. Keep it up. Because all you're doing is putting more money in my pocket 
from beneath where all the hate comes from.